I don't remember the last time I had a cool dream or an interesting dream or whatever, oh. which is fine because I hate when people tell me their dreams. Well, I'm, 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 about to, I'm about to tell you my dream, Eric. Uh, no! Barbara, did I tell the story about the dream I had with Chris Damaris during a... Were we recording something or was that just like downtime? We were just I, like in a meeting and I told the story. I don't think you told it. I mean, I don't. I also oh. don't know what the dream was. Oh, you weren't there. We were. Fil I think we were filming something that you weren't in. Is this a dream? But anyway, and then, the, <laughs> I had a, I had a dream with Chris a few nights Wake ago. Wake up, Barbara. Uh, <laughs> I dreamt that it, it was a stress dream. I had to go perform a wedding ceremony. I had to like perform the ceremony for someone, but I was late. And Chris was going with me. And then as we were driving to the wedding, I realized I never wrote the ceremony. It was like, oh, shit. Oh, you did tell us ceremony. this. I don't know what I'm going to say. In private, was... though. I don't think you, you said this on a podcast. So oh, you're okay. good. Um, so, I, uh, so we were driving. And then at that moment, the car breaks down. So Chris and I need to run to the wedding. <laughs> and I'm like, we're both running to the wedding. And I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to say. But I can't write because I'm running. So I'm like trying to write but can't. Uh, we're we're running. We get to the dream. We we get to the wedding uh, venue, and uh, like I guess like the wedding planner, whoever meets us at the door. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. And I'm like trying to very quickly scribble down some notes. And I turn around, and Chris has like a giant pot of stew, like seven or eight feet in <laughs> diameter. I don't and think I'm you like, mentioned this part to us. <laughs> and I was like, Chris, what is that? And he's like, it's my Russian wedding stew. I make it and I bring it to every <laughs> wedding I go to. And I look at it, and there's like. Fermented, moldy, rotten pieces of bread in the stew. No. And I'm having to tell the wedding planner, like, I'm sorry about my friend. He brings this stew to every wedding he goes to. And Chris <laughs> is like trying to make room at the wedding buffet to like put his giant pot of stew down. <laughs> and I'm just is, like, this meanwhile, is so, still trying to write This is realistic. It this is realistic. It is. <laughs> this all tracks. It really is. Yeah. Like, Gus, you're the only person I think that is allowed to share their dreams with me from now on yeah. because this sounds like an actual experience. Yeah. Ooh, uh, it was, uh, uh, I saw someone in, in chat says, you can't write in a dream. I felt like I was having a lot of trouble writing. Like, it was, like, <laughs> I couldn't, like, I was, it was really, like, my hand was trembling a lot and I couldn't make the letters. Like, I was really having a lot of difficulty writing it down. It was, uh, it was weird. That is so, I mean, if that's so, on, that's so character. Yeah, right? Yeah, like that, man, man, that tracks. Like if all of a sudden it was like Brandon Farmahini and he was telling me a story and he was like, and Chris brought his Russian wedding stew, it would be like, yep, <laughs> yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah, I've heard of that. Because mm -hmm. he thought it was like a, a potluck wedding, so he brought it. Yeah, of <laughs> course, yeah. of course, of course.